The June 2006 paper had a second question on energy, and this energy focus, this question rather focuses on energy changes. A cyclist pedals up a hill. She then allows the bicycle to roll down the other side of the hill without pedalling. Finally, she applies the brakes to bring the bicycle to a stop on the same level as her starting point. Part 1. Describe in detail the energy changes that take place as she pedals up the hill and then rolls down the other side. Now let's look at the introduction again. There are three distinct phases to her movement. She pedals up the hill. She allows to roll down without pedalling. It's the second phase. And then she applies the brakes to bring the bicycle to a stop. So there's three distinct phases. Pedalling uphill, rolling down without pedalling, and then applying the brakes. So describe in detail. So there are four marks for this. So we're looking for four distinct points. In the uphill section, the energy changes are from chemical, and the food that she has consumed, and this is converted to kinetic energy. And because she's gone uphill, it's also converted to potential energy. As she's increasing her height or elevation. So as she goes uphill, we have chemical energy being converted to kinetic energy and potential energy. Now in the downhill section then, she's freewheeling. So she's not... Um, converting chemical energy from her own body any longer. She's simply changing her potential energy, which is high at the top of the hill, to kinetic energy to go down the hill. So she's freewheeling downhill under the action of gravity, so the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy. And then in the final stage, which is the one that's easy to forget about, during the braking. In the braking, her kinetic energy is being reduced to zero, and that energy is being converted to heat and perhaps sound. Mainly it's converted to heat as the kinetic energy of the wheel turning round is being slowed by the brakes, which have friction between the brakes and the wheel, which then converts that kinetic energy into heat energy. So the four marks there would be for starting with chemical, going to kinetic and potential, then from potential to kinetic, and kinetic to heat and sound. So those are your four marks there for the four different aspects. Part two, explain how the principle of conservation of energy applies to the complete journey. Now the principle of conservation of energy states that energy is not lost or gained but it's transferred from one form to another. So it's always a good idea to state the definition and then apply it. So we have the principle of cons conservation of energy and then applies to the complete journey. So let's start. Start with the definition. Energy is not lost or gained, but it's transferred from one form to another. And we could say the total energy remains constant. And in this example, the chemical is converted via kinetic and potential to eventually heat and sound as the brakes then are applied at the end of the journey. So the energy isn't lost or gained but it's transferred from one form to another and the total energy remains constant throughout the journey.